Hey everyone, it's Ashleena. Welcome back to my channel. I have another patron request from my moderator on Discord, my patron and my subscriber, Doug, also known as Gatekeeper. And he wants me to do something I've never heard before. So this will be added to my playlist of first time hearing and they're called Within Temptation. The song is called Faster. It's live in Amsterdam. Everyone knows I love watching songs or bands for the first time or any time that are live because it just showcases how great or not so great they are. So Doug said, hi ho neighborette, I hope you are on the mend. I'm dealing with a sinus infection. My next request is going to be Within Temptation. I was going to request them with Amy Lee a while back, but I think you should hear the band by itself first. This is a live version of Faster from three months ago. They have been around for years though. Let's check it out kind of cool that they sing with Amy Lee from Evanescence. So that's really exciting. So I'm sure that will be his next request. <laughs> so let's check this song out. Thank you that you up
I love the crowd participation. It's so much fun. It looked like that crowd was having a great time. You know what, guys? I think her voice is absolutely beautiful, but I really just don't care for the song. It's just not my type of rock and roll. It kind of gives me the same vibe as Nightwish. Not musically. It's more just like watching Nightwish live is so entertaining, but I never listen to them on my own time. Watching this was entertaining, but I don't think I would listen to this song on my own time either. But I do really love her voice. Now, I have to admit, the vocalist is a vibe. Like, her voice is amazing. I kind of want to see the lyrics for this song as well. Within Temptation, Faster. The problem with watching a band and they're live is you really want to focus on the live performance, so you kind of miss out on the lyrics. But I don't want to be that person so so the lyrics i can't see because it's burning deep inside like gasoline a fire running wild no more fear because i'm getting closer now so unreal but i like it anyhow i go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster <laughs> i can't live in a fairy tale of lies and i can't hide from the feeling because it's right and i go faster and faster and faster for love and i can't live in a fairy tale of lies I can feel that you've mesmerized my heart i feel so free i'm alive i'm breaking out i won't give in because i'm proud of all my scars and I can see I've been wasting too much time. I go faster and faster and faster. I can't live in a fairy tale of lies, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. It's cute. It's a cute song. Um, nothing groundbreaking. It's really a pretty song. I think for me, it's her voice and how she actually sings the song that makes it like quite outstanding because you can kind of see her vocal range. But knowing that she can hit higher notes, and this song doesn't really showcase her true potential of her vocal range. I would like to hear something where she could just kind of go off and hear what she's capable of, because as nice as this song is, I know there's a better one. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure there's a better one. Let me look into this band. Okay, so Within Temptation is a Dutch symphonic metal band founded in April 1996 by vocalist Sharon Den Adel. Adele and guitarist Robert Westerholt. They have been classified by critics as gothic metal and symphonic metal, although each album contains other influences outside these genres. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah, I feel like I just don't vibe with symphonic metal for some reason. And it's interesting because I love symphonies. I love opera. I love classical and I love rock together they just don't do it for me and I don't understand why I love that the band was founded by her which is amazing I just I think her voice is so beautiful I uh, I need to listen to a couple more songs to figure out if I like them but if this is like one of their best songs I have a feeling it's going to be a whole night wish thing again for me where I love watching their shows because obviously that was pretty cool but I just can't get into the music to listen to it on my own time. It's odd. I don't get it. But that's just how I'm wired, I guess. They've been around for a while, you guys. I'm looking at their Wikipedia and it is insane. I love Wikipedia for the timeline of when band mates leave or join. I think it's such a great little chart. So if you've never seen that, check it out. It just gives someone like me who's never heard of a band before some context on how many people have left, how many people have joined, who's in the band now, etc. But yeah, very impressive. They've been around for a really long time, which is cool. 1996, that's a very long time. Crazy, I've never heard of them, but also not crazy because there's so much music in the world. And if it doesn't cross your past from someone telling you about it or just hearing it on radio, most likely I, I would have never heard of this band. So Doug, thank you for the introduction. I, uh, I would love to hear something else. I never give up on a band after one song because maybe it's just that one song that's not your vibe, but symphonic metal is a hard one to break through for me and I don't understand it. I want to love it, but it's just something I can't listen to on my own time. I don't get it. it makes me mad actually. <laughs> the problem with me, and I'm going to be talking about my vinyl of the day, is I got to like match up my vinyl of the day with the content I'm doing because then you guys can kind of get a sense of what I listen to. And I honestly just bought this vinyl because it's nostalgia. It's all nostalgic for me. It's a Hanson album. Guys, I know. You're probably like, that's why she doesn't like this band. No, 
listen, I don't listen to Hanson anymore, but this is one of my favorite albums from them, and I wanted to own it on vinyl. Simple as that. It is an anniversary edition, so I said, screw it. I'm purchasing it, and that's why I bought it. I loved Hanson when I was a kid. This was the last album that I really listened to that I loved from them, and it really helped me through some shit when I was younger, so don't judge me. It's a nice little nostalgic vinyl for me to own. Proud to have it. That's all I'm going to say about it. You don't have to listen to it. You probably won't listen to it, and that's okay. But you never know if there's someone who listens to this band who also listens to Hanson. It could happen. It could happen. Doug, thanks for your patron request. If you guys are interested in doing a patron request, go to Patreon. You can see the tiers that I have offered there. And if you just want to be a free member, I also offer that as well, where you can join polls and vote and comment and stuff like that for what I do on my channel. So also gives you a heads up when I do like live streams and things like that. So feel free to join. If not, all good. You can check out my Instagram and TikTok and all those other social platforms that I'm on. That's pretty much it. I'm not on Facebook and I'm not on X, Twitter, whatever it's called. I don't know what that is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are a fan of this band, tell me some songs in the comments that are your favorites that you think I would like that are maybe less symphonic metal and I might vibe to it. And if it's live, even better because that show looked spectacular and everyone looked like they had a great time. The sound quality was good. Love shit like that. Cool. See you in my next video.